Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 Historical Flavor Mod, where we are playing as Ethiopia. When we last left off, a great war had just begun between France, Russia, and the United States on one side, and the, the, the United Kingdom, Austria-Hungary, and hang on, let's see who else. There was another great power involved. Oh yeah, the Netherlands on the other side. And, uh, yeah, I really have no idea how this one is going to go, or if we are ever going to get called in. Um, I'm pretty sure that we are going to be allied again with Russia and France, because what happens in HFM is... Hang on a minute. When did I offer... When did I give military access to the British? Must have forgotten to remove it whenever it happened. Well, in any case, they won't be sending any more than they already have. Not that it matters much, I'm pretty sure they have access through Afghanistan, but still. I'd rather not be aiding them in any way, particularly since, uh, because I hate Britain, uh, what happens is when, uh, someone you are indecent with, um, by which I mean when it, who you are in good with is, um, at war with someone you, is in a big war against somebody you hate, uh, what uh, what uh, usually happens is you can, uh, by event, ally with that uh, country. So uh, Russia, France, and the United States, um, we, we should eventually get uh, random events that fire to do that. Uh, but I hope it doesn't happen too soon, because I think i got to build some artillery and ammunition factories first. Um, I just spent the last bit of money I had on that. And, uh, although I think the ammunition factory might have been capitalist fun uh, funded, I, I don't know. Um, again, the puppy, uh, ended up, uh, as, 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 a, as a, that I showed you at the beginning of the in beginning of this video, really, uh, cut into my recording time, and so I've slightly forgotten where I was, but still, yeah, what I, I the way I suspect this is going to go, optimistically speaking, is uh, the United States is going to build up a bunch of war score in the Americas and then not be able to do much else. They're going to full occupy Canada, probably. And uh, in the meantime, what happens uh, with Russia and Austria-Hungary, part of that depends on whether or not France gets military access and is able to help them. Because uh, given Britain's war record on the con uh, continent, I actually like uh, the odds of Russia and France against um, Austria-Hungary and uh, Britain's imperial troops from India. In time, I think I still have military access. Might as well move this unit in there. I've cut my uh, stockpile funding a little bit. I think the big problem here is... Uh, Yeah, is ammo and artillery. The small arms, I think we have enough. Ammo and artillery, I don't think we do. I would like to uh, get away from uh, those tariffs. In the meantime, we're going to have to rebuild from the last war before we do anything. We're going to have to wait for the on the diplomacy before we do anything. Uh, I will update you as to any major developments on this war, but we are going to place a cut here until something happens along those along that front. So, uh, stay tuned. A brief update. Um, we're going to ally with Russia, formally, and uh, we'll be able to see how they're doing. Uh, not so great at the moment, um, but I think France is the war leader anyway, and uh, they're the only ones who can call us into this war. So. At the moment, it'll just kind of show us more of the map, maybe make it more likely for France to ally with us. Yeah, they won't accept yet. So, yeah. Stay tuned for the next update, but for a moment, for the moment, it appears that the uh, good guys are winning, and France wants the UK to dismantle its empire. So if we get in on that action, we might be able to uh, maybe get ourselves a bit of Egypt, or at least Djibouti and Aden, Aden I don't know would be nice. It's a thought. In any case, we will let you know 
or rather I will, when anything changes along that front. In the meantime, let us... Yeah, I can't imagine why the uh, socialists wouldn't want to uh, abolish serfdom, uh, but uh, in any case, let's go with low minimum wage. Okay, cutting now. Okay, France. Uh, Russia might not be the war leader of the Great War, but they are in the they are in the war against Japan for Sakhalin. I'm gonna have to decline that one. I've just had a lengthy war against Japan. I am not really ready yet. I, I'm gonna have to hope that the ability to that I get the ability to ally with them later and try and uh, mend fences with them for now. As for military access from Japan, they can go fuck themselves. And for Italy, why not? I have a feeling we might get called back later. Okay, it would appear at the moment, uh, well, the France, uh, I, I haven't gotten the event to ally with France yet, but it would appear that France has gotten uh, the ability to get military access into Russia and uh, through to Austria-Hungary, which is big and important because the uh, a joint Franco-Belgian offensive should be enough to at least take care of things on the central continent. I can't speak for the rest of the war. Uh, or the rest of Eurasia generally. Hmm. Not sure why the Japanese conquest of Sakhalin is going so badly for war score. But yeah, I don't know. It, it turns out, yeah, not being involved in this war did not cost me much in the end. So, yeah. Again, we'll keep you posted when something important happens. Okay, quick update. Um, first of all, we've uh, formed an alliance with France, although they have not called us in, at least not yet. Um, second of all, um, yeah, France and Belgium have fucked the Austrian, the, Aust the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Russia is basically under no threat from the West. Um, the Allies will be able to turn their full attention to the East. And, yeah, I don't... Yeah, I think, um, yeah, the tide of this war, uh, it, it tilted a bit uh, towards Britain and co., but I think it's about to tilt back. Uh, I would really like in on this. Um, France tried to call me into a war with Austria-Hungary. I don't think... Uh, the thing is, I don't think we would have... Uh, been able to get into the Great War if that had happened. And I, I still want in on that. I, I, I want to get a little chunk of uh, Britain, hopefully. Or at least someone's empire. Because, you know, Africa should at least be, uh, if someone's going to be an imperialist, imperialist dick over all over Africa, it should be, an, it should be some Africans. So, yeah. Let you know when they call us in. See you then. Okay, and it is official. France has called us into the Great War. And we're going to fight it. I think we have something to contribute here. So let's attack this unit that's trying to occupy Mariupol. I think we should be able to contribute something at least.
I'd like to at least delay things before we, uh, before we actually, um, before we actually involve ourselves in, uh, before we actually, um, mobilize our, uh, our population. I'd like to get as much done as possible without having to uh, go with um, mobilized troops. I think we should win this battle at least. And I should, uh, speaking of things I should do, I should definitely slow the speed down some. Counterattack that unit that's trying to it's trying to get into my own uh, into my own shit. See if we can't follow that unit and crush it. Wait three days. seems to be the one thing we have trouble producing a ton of Ho yeah it's gonna take a while for those two factories to be done to be done uh, building and or expanding Uh, yeah, I think this war is gonna t is gonna turn around, and that war score is going to get towards here. And hopefully, we'll be able to get the things we want to get.
Let's name these armies in accordance with where they are on the battlefield. Second home army. See if Germany will give us uh, military access to our West African unit. Otherwise, I may just end up using it to occupy, well, West Africa. Let's attack here. I may end up needing to uh, mobilize after all. Just hoping not to have to. But yeah, at least for occupation purposes of Egypt and Suez. Ah, minor resurgence from uh, Austria-Hungary right there. I don't think it'll be enough to save them, though. Let's wait until that battle is over. We're not gonna. There. We're not gonna. Yeah. Well, if you start with uh, getting into a battle that's fucked like that, you're, you're rather than saving the day much, you're gonna just end up being as fucked as they are. Yeah, uh, we're going to uh, yeah, lose growth in exchange for less war exhaustion. That is something that is quite going to be quite important indeed. Oh, are we getting fucked again? Yeah, let's retreat. Yeah, the South African army is bad news. I have to regroup for our defense.
Hmm. Well, we can go through the uh, unoccupied territory in order to get us some veteran help here, because, yeah, we're going to need more than just mobilized here. If some units we can't reinforce here. See where they head. Yeah, hoping this isn't a curb stump. We are basically throwing all we've got into this battle against the South Africans. Now we outnumber them. get this unit into Addis as quickly as possible, hopefully in time to be able to defend against this qualitatively superior South African army. Meantime, do we need to re reorganize these units? Not just yet. It's going to cost us some money to replace these boys.
So Romania, yeah, Romania is fighting with us. Um, we've got numbers here for now. Albeit not necessarily our numbers. Big battle against the South Africans there. Nine war score. That is an awful lot. able to uh, reoccupy such territory as they uh, tried to occupy themselves. And get back to kicking ass. Yeah, whatever the war score may say, I think, I think the, uh, I think it's just going to take time for the war score itself to re properly reflect the fact that we are now winning. But in the meantime, I think that is a good place to leave off this episode for now. An eventful, uh, an inve eventful one indeed. The Great War has begun and we have joined it. How long we will be able to supply our troops well, that remains to be seen. But, we, but our side has all but knocked... Austria-Hungary out of the war. Just a few... Hmm. I thought these were mostly mobilized ar armies, so perhaps I spoke too soon on that front. But this is a war that is still very much in the balance, that despite the war score, we still have a very strong chance of winning. So, until next time, I have been Maricotti, you have been you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next episode.